Netflix now is the entire first season of the of Glow. Glow. It's a look at the personal and professional lives of a group of women who were exposed to radioactive material and now they glow. No, that would be awesome. No, but uh, who helped start up the famous 1980s uh, entertainment wrestling show Glow, ah, which I'm stands for Contest of the Champions. No, no, that was Marvel Contest, wasn't no, it? No, that. And this is not Battle of Network Stars either. Just oh, so you know. This yeah. this would be Glow, the gorgeous ladies of wrestling, hmm. which is kind of funny because there's only a handful of them are kind of gorgeous. But anyway, uh, <coughs> that's uh, being sex subjective. But uh, yes, or, um, you're too much of a baby driver to know this. Mm. But uh, yes, I grew up watching uh, a couple of times. I didn't catch it all the time, but because it was pretty cheesy. But I watched Glow growing up, a couple episodes of it, and it was. They pretty much pretty just said, yeah. yeah. They they pretty much just said, uh, we're not even gonna try to look real, because like uh, there was an episode I, I was talking about. My favorite is there was a, a nerd called Zorba the Greek Geek, is what her name Zorba was. the Geek. Zorba the Geek teamed up with I can't remember the other her partner, but they fought, probably some offensive racist racial stereotype. Uh, probably, but they teamed up with a stereotypical Af- big African American lady who did voodoo. Ooh. It was like the female puppet. Was her name was, was her name Mama Voodoo or something? Something like that, yeah, I don't remember. And during the match, she hypnotizes both Zorba the Geek and the other girl and convinces them they're both Zorba the Geek. So right there on television, the two girls are fighting each other because I'm Zorba the Geek. No, I'm Zorba the Geek. And they start fighting. So I was like, well, they're not even trying to make it real, huh? They just said, screw it, let's just get all wacky. So wow. that's basically your what your your I don't think, <clears throat> what glow uh, was you like. You just don't understand how brilliant this was. Right, right, right. But so you're saying glow was kind of dumb. It was kind of dumb, right? But it was the '80s, big costume and everything was kind of dumb yeah. in the '80s, but and, awesome in a way. And it was kind of like in the '80s. They had uh, the girls would all too would have theme songs, not like oh. to like not like the regular theme regular wrestlers. Where everyone songs. has the Limp Bizkit song when they enter. Yeah, yeah. Limp it doesn't like that. They literally have like an opening song where they're all in the ring together going, We are the girls of Glow! And then like when they would come to the ring, they would actually play their part of the song. Huh. I'm Zorba the Geek and I'm blah 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 or whatever. I'm so. geeky. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like, like math. Yeah. I like Apple computers. You know, yeah. back when Apple first came out. That's yeah. not going to go anywhere. No, exactly. <laughs> but okay, so the, it's created by Liz Flavib and Carly Mensch. I said that right. My I favorite creators. Right. Uh, it's got the famous Alison Brie in it. Star. Uh, she's star, she's the main star. Basically, she plays Ruth Wilder, a very struggling actress. Surprise, surprise. Who gets an uh, audition to come to this place to try out? She shows up. It's all these different girls. Finds out it's wrestling, and of course, she doesn't really want to do it. But it's like, hey, man, it's kind of cool. We get to come up with our own characters, and she gets invested in it. You know. So it, it's a kind of a cute show. I'm going to come right out and say it's kind of cute and funny because of the whole 80s thing. Yeah. I mean, they they stick hard to the 80s music. Is it, is it like, like really schlocky with the 80s or is it like it's just... No, it's of... not really over okay. the top. It's not really isn't. Um, it's it's just well done where it's that time period. They wear the... the... I mean, it's not like in your face like... Some shows where they go, oh, it's kind of cool out there. I better put on my 1985 Michael Jackson leather jacket. Go oh, there. <laughs> yeah, right. The, it's something like that, you know, where they have to mention everything. They just You just kind of notice Like every it. five seconds they turn to the camera and go, ha, remember the 80s? <laughs> yeah, right. I do, I do remember the 80s. It feels very natural. It feels okay. very natural to put on. So it's pretty good. Um, the way they do the show is kind of like Orange is the Blue Black. Where every character, and I'm not kidding, every character has its own their own story going on. Um, I'm trying to think of the guy, the name. So this is going to be good for two seasons, and then by the third season, it kind of goes downhill. It, it, very, <laughs> it, it very may well. well um, they everybody in it is really good. They play as far as their characters and their stories, they're all pretty good in it. Um, Allison Brie's really good in it. The girl who plays Betty Gilpin. Um, who plays Debbie, I'm sorry, her name is Betty Gilpin. She plays Debbie Egan. She plays Allison Bree's best friend, and they end up, I'm not going to spoil it, but they end up at odds, and uh, Betty, uh, Debbie Egan, excuse me, ends up getting hired as well, even though her and her best friend are now at odds with each other, which adds to the drama. Okay, who plays Zorba the Geek? That's all I know that. <laughs> there is no Zorba the Geek on this one, believe it or not. What? But, uh, but what's funny is, because it's the 80s, before we got really PC... 
Um, a lot of them, a lot of the characters, just like Real Glow, play very stereotypical characters. There's a girl named Sunta Mani who mm. plays Arthi, Ar- Ar- Arthi, I think, Ar- I don't know how to pronounce it. Arthi Primakumar. She's an Indian girl, but because she, she's in, because she's a little darker skin, they dress her up like a Middle Eastern girl. That's her character, and she comes out and says, "Ah, I hate America, I kill them." You know, it's like very stereotypical. You know, like uh. like she doesn't want to do it, but it's like you've got to play to the crowd, so they make her the bad guy. You know, um, they've got a, uh, a a young lady who's actually really good, Brittany Young. She's a uh, a bit thicker of a female. She plays Carmen Wade. Uh, who her brothers and her father are wrestlers, so she kind of knows about wrestling. Yeah, she seems like the only experience. right, and and they and they put her like in a whole like mountain Fiji kind of outfit because she's a big girl from you know. So it's it's funny, but it, it's like insulting, but funny because this is what they did. They, That's they did what this, is it? The... Yeah, they do these really cheesy things. Um, <clears throat> the I can't think of his name. I'm trying to think of the guy. The, the main guy who plays that plays the the guy who's putting it all together, he's amazing in it. Um, mm-hmm. I wish I could remember his name. I'm sorry, I can't find it. I want to say it's Mark Marin, but I don't know if that's true. I'm trying to look it up now. He's act- yeah, I said Mark Marin plays the uh, like he basically he plays a schlock director who does a lot of schlock sexual kind of movies. Uh, you know? the exploitation films. Yeah, those exploitation movies. His career is kind of the David it has on Blu-ray. Right, and he's got like the cult following. You know, people, some people love his artistic look and all this stuff. But yeah. his career is in the toilet, so this is what he's doing now. He ends up having to direct this show. He's really good in it because he's kind of a loser, but still believes he is a really good director, and he thinks he can. You know, uh, just for example, like on one of the first couple episodes when he writes the script for this, and then he takes it to the producer, which is a rich, uh, rich yuppie guy yeah. who's got his mommy's money so he's producing the show when he takes takes it and they perform the script he doesn't put on a wrestling show he puts on this really dramatic he has them reading the lines it's like this whole dramatic presentation thing and the producer this young yuppie guy's like, it's just wrestling man it's keep it simple you know what i mean <laughs> but he's a director and a writer and he, yeah. so he wants to make this really dramatic thing make something bad right he's actually really good the guy is, is really funny he's He's not only is he is he sexist, not only is he like this complete loser guy kind of guy who is he's hiding himself, but there's times you actually are sympathetic to him. You know, you, you yeah. see that he actually, you know, as the character progresses, he really does start to care about these girls. You know, this schlocky stuff they're doing. He does kind of care about them. He's still in it for the money and you know his yeah. name, but you see he does kind of care. Um, he's got his own couple of story arcs that you see his character grow and stuff. So he's really, he's really good in it. I think really he makes the show. I'll be honest with you, more than Alison Brie does. I'll be honest. And mm-hmm. Alison Brie's a star. Um, is Alison Brie more like, like kind of a bland, like leading character? Like she's kind of a bland. So leading like character, she's yeah. more of like you're supposed to look at this world through her eyes kind yeah. of character. Oh. Yeah. But you kind of. It's kind of lame. It, it's <sighs> not to be mean because Alison Brie's got really good comedic timing. She really does. But I'm gonna be honest with you. She she isn't stellar in this. Like I think you could replace her with any with any other girl. Yeah. And unfortunately, is it, do you think it's just the part? I, it might just be the part because um, because okay, right, if if you're familiar with Orange is the New Black, it originally follows the one girl going to jail, right? Yeah, and now she's almost like a forgotten character. Exactly. That's kind of what happens in this first season of already. Well, already. Yeah. Um, the main character kind of gets forgotten, and you kind of get more invested. In the other characters, then you do her character, really. And her, the drama between her, her and her friend. It kind of gets old after a while. It really does get kind of old. And you're just kind of like, this is Isn't it some small petty crap? Um, I can spoil it for you. You want me to spoil it? If you want to throw up spoilers. No? No, it's it's a pretty major thing, really, that like, happens between Like her people. friend killed her dad or something? No, nothing nothing that major. It's not that. Did she sleep really. with her husband or some crap or her boyfriend? Uh, that very possibly could be. That sounds That's like some petty like, crap. Yeah, so... <laughs> so uh, you know, so Alison Brie's character isn't necessarily a great person, put it that way. You know what I mean? She, oh, okay. She's not that great of a person. But she's, like, she's got the good heart, but she's made some really bad decisions, you know. But she's also really wants to be an actress, so she's that kind of person, you know. But she puts her heart into it, and, and it is funny to watch her really put her heart in, 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 into this thing. And it's funny to watch her trying to find her character. Hmm. Like, everybody gets their character, and she's kind of like, I don't know who I'm going to be, you know. So that's kind of... You so, know what the trailer reminded me a lot of? What's that? It reminded me a lot of uh, Whip It. 
It kind of is like that. Is it kind of like that? A little yeah. wacky, yeah. A little kind of out there. Some of the characters, some of the situations are kind of wacky. Um, <clears throat> the thing about it, though, is it does get a little long-winded. Mm -hmm. There were literally some... I, and I binge-watched it. Like, you, everybody does on Netflix. So I binge-watched it, like, on, on a weekend. There were some episodes, though, that I literally was on my phone doing other things while it was playing. Oh. You know what I mean? So it's like, uh, you know... So there are some episodes that are kind of like... I literally uh, have gotten to the point where I have to put my phone... Like, not that I'm, like, a person on my phone all the time, but I realize, like, I kind of have a tendency to, like, not pay attention to movies now right. when I'm at home. So I'm like, I'm gonna, if I'm going to watch something now, I, have to, I literally have to make sure, like, my phone is charging and away from me. Right. So, like, I maybe... Um, I'll tell you another person who stands out uh, is a young actress named Britt Barron, who kind of stole my heart in this. Oh. She plays... A young rocker like chick with the black eyeliner and a necklace with a with a lock around her neck, you know, and she plays this kind she of wacky. Won my heart, right? Yeah. Now. So I was kind of like, I like this character, and her story arc is pretty interesting and a little shocking. Um, when you when it comes around, you're like, oh, you can kind of figure it out as it goes. She's a dude. No, but it's not that bad. No, but it she's it's pretty, she's close, pretty good at because she plays this kind of rocker girl, but really sweet actually, and yeah. there's a reason why she's involved in all this stuff. The show isn't bad. It's a fun little show to watch. It, it's okay, kind of, it's kind of sounds like you were disappointed by it. I am a little disappointed, uh, but I don't know what I expected. Like, it's a show about girls wrestling, you know, in the 80s. So I don't know what I really expected out of it. Hmm. But it's a fun little show, and there's a lot of possibilities with the characters and them having a show now where they have to every week come up with new hmm. storylines and stuff. So it, it's worth watching. It's a lot of fun. It's not fantastic. Yeah, it you sound so disappointing in it. Yeah, I... Because I, I was really looking forward to this, but... Yeah, you and just I sell don't want to short sell it. it. It is a lot of fun. Um, like I said, yeah. there are some episodes that are a little long-winded, and you're just kind of like, oh, uh, you know. Yeah. But it is a lot of fun, and uh, it, like I said, it, it's worth watching. Um, and I will say this, and not in a mean way, it, this is the roughest I've ever seen Allison... Ellie... Ellie... Allison Al 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 Brie, look. She looks kind of rough with the short hair. Not to be mean, but she's always been... You're also used to seeing her playing, like, the cute, Annie attractive... Yeah, attractive girl with the long hair. She's got shorter 80s hair in here, and it's like, wow, she doesn't even really look like her, really. So. She's, but so, they, like she's said, so good at Mad Men, too. Yeah, so it, it, it's very... It's, the, like I said, the, the main thing is the writers do a really good job with different characters and having all oh. these different characters interact and stuff, you know? And and this is... And, and sadly, it's, it's almost like this is the end of the rope, for a lot of these actresses, you know, like this is their last shot or whatever. Yeah. So you understand that. So you identify with some of the characters, and you kind of root for them. So it's a fun, it's fun. Watch. It's a good watch. I recommend watching it. I recommend checking it out. Um, just make sure you realize that you're not going to take anything too seriously. This isn't going to be something that's going to win at me. No, no, I don't think so. And I don't even know how long it'll actually last. To be honest with you. Oh. I mean, there is potential, but. I just don't know how long you could really drag. Could this it out. be one of those like Netflix shows that keeps going on for a while, but like people really aren't tuning in too much? And... Yeah, it could be. It could fade out after oh. a while because I just don't know how far you can really go with it. You know what I mean? Because the first season is about them getting together and trying to get the show off the ground. You know what I mean? All right. So in my next season, what you'll have the show off the ground. The next season, what the show starts hurting, dropping ratings. So you got the three seasons. Well, we need the four seasons. I mean, it's over. I mean, we're just <laughs> gonna have to go real apeshit, and they just have to kill each other in the ring. Right. So we're gonna have to have a blood match. They're we're gonna really have to have have thinning. To... Yeah. Right. Right. So I don't know, but like I said, Glow. It's it's pretty good. It's 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 a fun watch. Um, it's not fantastic, but it's a fun little watch. It's worth checking out. So. Uh.